For centuries, people have believed that we are not alone. Creatures of unworldly origin preying on us, experimenting on us, constant sightings from around the world, people living in fear reporting similar terrifying experiences on every continent. Tall, pale figures in the night abducting people in their sleep. Descriptions remarkably consistent. Pale skin, freckles, and disgustingly orange-reddish hair. From around the world, we are seeing terrifying reports of similar things. Gingers taking people away in the night. The same description and fear used when describing alien abductions. Are they a coincidence? Maybe. But to me, that doesn't seem very likely. It doesn't make any sense. What if gingers are actually extraterrestrials from our history's remote past? When all the pieces are analyzed together, it just makes sense. Millions of people from around the world believe that we have been visited in the past by extraterrestrial beings. But what if it were true? Did ancient aliens really help to shape our history? Are abductions in the night really the work of beings not of this world? And if so, are they disguised as gingers to help them blend in to finish their sinister work on this planet? In November of 2009, creative and comic genius Trey Parker wrote a script for the hit TV show South Park entitled Ginger Kids. Did this visionary accidentally stumble onto a terrible secret kept hidden for centuries? The episode depicts gingers as having a known condition referred to as gingivitis, with symptoms such as pale skin, grotesque freckles, and unsightly red hair. These abominable creatures are sensitive to light and often sneak around under the cover of darkness, kidnapping people from their homes. Many people from around the world have finally realized the connection. Trey Parker may have been on to something. Now scientists have connected the dots. What if gingers were actually aliens? What if there is a connection between alien abductions and the reports of gingers sneaking into people's homes at night? I believe that if you look at all the evidence, it's not hard to see a connection. For hundreds of years, people have been afraid of the dark. But not all abduction stories have little green men and flashy spaceships. Some speak of tall creatures with pale skin and dead soulless eyes. Why is this? Maybe it's because they're already hiding among us. If ancient aliens are the ones who created us in our history's remote past, as many ancient astronaut theorists believe, then why would they just leave us? What if they didn't? What if they have been here all along, watching us, experimenting on us? Many people now believe these aliens have hidden in our populations for years. But what if it were true? If you look at our planet's remote past, you can see very easily that they have been here all along. Not just hiding, but controlling. Many of the world's leaders throughout history have been ginger. Many people don't realize this, but most of the influential leaders have been ginger. Looking back, we have Cleopatra. She's often depicted with her black trademark wig, but underneath that, she was in fact a ginger. Richard the Lionheart led crusades through the Holy Land looking for ancient alien relics, and he was a ginger. We also have Queen Elizabeth. She constantly lobbed people's heads up for her twisted alien experiments. Then we also had Napoleon Bonaparte, who tried to conquer the world. He was a ginger. Clearly, the aliens are trying to take over the world. Many of history's greatest leaders were in fact ancient aliens, forever changing the world. People like Lenin, Napoleon, Queen Elizabeth, Richard the Lionheart, and even Prince Harry. But what about the redheads who changed the world for the good of mankind? Are these redheads aliens? Or perhaps alien offspring? 
Who were these innovators? What good did they possibly give the world and for what reason? A lot of our greatest inventions and technical marvels have come from gingers. Look at Galileo. He is one of history's greatest minds. Is it a coincidence that he had such a vast knowledge of the stars? Or perhaps he was from them? Thomas Jefferson, one of America's founding fathers, was a ginger. Why? Why would such important people in our history's past all be gingers? What could this mean? Throughout history, some of the world's leading figures and influential people have all been of red hair and fair skin. But what could they be hiding? What is their goal? Is there a common theme among them that can shed some light on why they are here and what they want? Ancient astronaut theorists believe they have the answer. It's so simple. What do they all have in common? They all want to take over the world. Each one of them is trying to control everyone. Why else would they be in such important roles? To me, the answer is clear. Global domination. What if this were true? What if redheads are really trying to take over the world? How do we know that they are aliens? What proof do we have? Is there a connection to prove their vile intentions? Yet again, ancient astronaut theorists believe so. If you are not convinced, convinced that there's a connection between the soulless eyes and the late night abductions eerily similar to common alien abductions, then look no further. All we have to do is look at the evidence. Look at how similar they look. If you compare aliens with some of the well-known gingers, you will see the similarities right before your eyes. The resemblance is uncanny. And if you don't think that they're pure evil, then all you need to do is look at one of their leaders, L. Ron Hubbard. L. Ron Hubbard was a ginger, and he openly admitted to the evil overlord Xenu, who was from millions and millions of years ago. Many people around the world today worship L. Ron Hubbard as a god. As a god! Many of today's most influential celebrities swear on the teachings of this extraterrestrial preacher. To me, it is obvious extraterrestrials are real, and they're hiding amongst us as cut, ginger- cut. Giorgio, let's do, let's do it again. This time, say extraterrestrials, okay? All right, let's All take right, it from the top. All right. To me, it is obvious extraterrestrials are hot. hot. George, Giorgio, just say it with me, okay? Extraterrestrials. 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 Let, let's try, okay, let's just do it again, right? Let's do it again. To me, it is obvious extraterrestrials oh, for the love are- of God! Oh, it's extra terrestrial, extra terrestrial, extra, extra, extra terrestrials. God, I'm surrounded by idiots. <laughs>